Hi, I'm Nariman Ververden, President of Stevens Institute of Technology. I'd like to thank the Stevens community, the faculty, staff, students, parents, alumni, trustees, corporate friends, and research partners all over the world for the warm welcome I have received during the first several months of my tenure at this wonderful institution. I continue to be impressed with the work of our faculty and staff and with the talent and dedication of our students. Let me share with you some of the highlights of the past few months. I am still moved by the memories of the inauguration events, which pulled together the entire community, bringing many alumni and distinguished guests to the campus. The academic colloquium that included keynote speakers, U.S. Energy Secretary Stephen Chu and Bell Laboratories President John Kim, along with our own professors Ron Besser and Frank Fisher, focused on the linkages between excellence and innovation. It was a very jubilant time and an uplifting event. I was amazed to see the excitement and pride from all areas of Stevens and overwhelmed by the community's enthusiasm. Your energy elevated the stature of Stevens and sent a message to the world about how deeply our community values its institutions, its history, and its people. At the annual EAS Gala, which concluded the inauguration events and had a record number of attendees, we announced the launch of the President's Initiative for Excellence, a $30 million fundraising effort. The effort will focus on enhancing the quality of student education through scholarships, improving the physical infrastructure to build state-of-the-art classrooms and laboratories, and of course support for recruitment and retention of outstanding faculty. $12 million was raised between July 1st and October 15th, marking the most successful fundraising effort in Stevens history. And this is just the beginning. Another important development is the launch of a long-term strategic planning exercise. While still under development, I know our plan will be bold, ambitious, and far-reaching, yet realistic and achievable. The plan will be a roadmap toward a destination that places a premium on excellence in everything we do. The strategic plan will be designed to aim high and gender excitement create a strong sense of ownership, build communities, embrace and value diversity, set ideas and projects in motion, challenge convention, and make an impact. The Stevens Strategic Plan will be transformational. For the first time in our history, the students at Stevens participated in the U.S. Department of Energy's Solar Decathlon Competition in September. The team, called Empower House, in collaboration with the new school, constructed a zero net energy home. Teams were judged across 10 different contests to gauge how well the houses perform and how livable and affordable they are. The result for Empower House was a tie for first place in two key categories, affordability and hot water. Overall, the team placed in the top 10 in seven contests, finishing 13th overall. Stevens Athletic has much to celebrate with the most successful year ever in 2010-2011 as 12 different teams participated in NCAA championships. The Stevens men's soccer team finished the season ranked number 14th in the nation after advancing to the Elite Eight of the NCAA tournament. And for the first time in school history, Stevens won the Division III Collegiate Athletic Administrators of New Jersey Cup for the 2010-2011 academic year. And two of our alumni won the title of Female and Male Student of the Year, Laura Burrito and Zach Carr. Additionally, Ms. Burrito was named the NCAA Woman of the Year. She is a two-time NCAA national champion and the second ever NCAA Division III student athlete to win this award. And speaking of firsts, the incoming class of 2015 consists of 624 brilliant young men and women with a stellar academic profile, stronger than ever before in the history of Stevens. And the faculty has been hard at work as well. The Stevens Healthcare Educational Partnership 
was awarded a major grant for healthcare, labor, and workforce development from the state of New Jersey to support a comprehensive initiative which will provide vital training and education in patient care. The Department of Energy funded the Stevens Research Collaboration to evaluate a new method for measuring offshore wind speeds that promises to make assessing wind farm locations faster and cheaper. Stevens faculty recently grabbed national media attention for the installation of artificial reefs designed to influence waves to protect seaside property. Also in the spotlight was a group from the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering who has created technologies that can passively influence the behavior of drivers who put themselves and others at risk through distracting cell phone use. A Stevens research project titled RAPID was recognized with an NSF grant. RAPID may have broad impacts on disaster response efforts, minimizing the spread of false rumors in social media during a disaster situation. And speaking of disaster response, over two dozen freshmen and their orientation leaders chipped in to help the mayor of Hoboken and community emergency response team members on the day Hurricane Irene was expected to make landfall. They informed residents of the precautions they should take during the storm. It was a tiring work, but I'm very proud of the impact Stephen's student had on our greater community that day. Before we break for the holiday, I want to congratulate all of you for a very successful semester. I wish you and your families a blessed holiday season and a very happy new year. And I look forward to the upcoming year and a bright future for all of us. Please keep in touch. Happy holidays.